and just say how profoundly grateful we are. We love you. Amen. Awesome. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Um, yeah, really excited to have Nick and Susanna Dobbin here. Um, we're going to introduce them in a, in a moment. Their kids are here as well, Pearl and Jaira, which is really great. And yeah, lots of you know, we've been um, looking for a, a youth and children's pastor for quite a while and had a search committee process and applications. And, and yeah, we've just been so excited um, and feel like it's been such an answer to, to prayer and, and so many in the church praying and a provision of God that, that Nick um, applied and that him and Susanna have felt a sense of God calling them to, to um, this role at Rivers, which is, yeah, just so exciting, um, yeah, for us. And, um, yeah, so we just wanted to introduce um, them to you guys. A, a, lot, a lot of you already actually know, know them, which is great, or, or may know their family from, from different places. Um, but, yeah, we just wanted to introduce them, um, and they'll be around today as well, so you can come and have a chat to them too. So if you guys want to come up, and we could welcome them today. So good. No worries. Um, cool. So yeah, I was just thinking if you guys are just happy just to just tell us a little bit about um, yourself and, and just your journey with God and just yeah. your background would be awesome. Yeah. Um, so I'm Nick. Hi. <laughs> um, so I've been doing youth ministry for about 20 years, um, volunteer, and the last seven years I've been um, part-time over at LifePoint. Um, and yeah, I've... My heart has always been just to see youth connect with Jesus, but then to actually take hold of their faith and to take ownership of it and to actually express it. Um, and yeah, my own journey in life and with God has always been a process of just experience and then spending time in his word. And um, I've been blessed to pioneer a lot of things. Um, so I was a, I'm a trained teacher. Um, I worked at Arethusa for eight years. Um, some of you know that school. It's a very tough school. I pioneered a program <coughs> in the city there. I started with four kids, um, teaching them how to build skateboards. Um, and then after that, me and my wife were blessed to be able to travel the world for a year and just trust God and follow him um, and spend some time just learning how to let prayer be the centre point of our lives, um, learning how to do mission cross-culturally, um, and then just trusting God with provision the whole way, um, which is amazing. And then coming back, I went to Bible college, um, studied a graduate diploma of divinity. Um, so essentially, who is God? Um, and out of that, I got the role as life went, and I got to pioneer that um, over the last seven years. And yeah, that's been my journey. And then um, at the start of this year, uh, we were on holidays, came back from holidays, and um, Susanna, she's really understanding of where God's calling us to, way before I am. She's like, I think there's a change happening. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> I don't think so. And she's like, yes, there is. I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, and I came came back, and our senior pastor at LifePoint, um, he just released me. He said, look, you're an amazing guy, but we know there's more for you, and we can't offer that. Um, so we're releasing you to go and just see what God has um, for you um, and your family. Um, and I've been working at Carmichael College as well, two days a week, pioneering subjects there every year. Um, and yeah, so the past six months, we've really just been on this journey of like, okay, God, like you've called us to ministry. You've called me to youth ministry specifically. What does that actually look like in our region? Um, and then obviously you guys had your search committee, which Susanna knew about way before I did. Uh, <laughs> and so it was like just a beautiful um, blending of my passion and my skills of pioneering and just seeing youth connect and your need really for wanting to see your young people engage in your everyday service, but then also taking hold of their faith and taking it out further. Um, and so, yeah, Good. that's our journey, and that's why we're keen to come on and help you guys and see what God has for this place. That's awesome. And you just live down the road. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's so great. good. <laughs> Actually, I had three questions for you, but you just answered all of them. So, yeah. that's <laughs> <laughs> so it's nice and nice and easy. So yeah. thanks so much. But yeah, Nick's going to be around 
today, so please come and come and have a chat to him um, and Susanna as well. Um, anything else just about yourself, background, interests? Uh, I love surfing, so if any surfers are out there, you'll see me on my days off trying to get to the beach with the little ones. Um, yeah, I love sport, so I play touch footy most Thursdays. Um, and then really, it's just family. I just love hanging out with family. Mm, so, so good. Yeah. Oh, thanks so much, Nick. That's awesome. Yeah, really appreciate it. Awesome. Um, you can grab a seat. That's all good. I'm gonna. Um, Lynn, Lynn's actually gonna pray in a, in a moment. Um, but yeah, it's so good and really excited about this next season of youth and, and children's ministry. And it has been such a big need uh, for so long. Um, and yeah, really excited about what God um, wants to do. Um, yeah, so sort of the, the final step, I suppose, is that we seek the endorsement of the members um, for uh, the ministry appointment. So what I'm going to do is, is next Sunday, we'll send out the information about that and, and the voting um, process for members and be seeking the endorsement for, for Nick. Um, and the plan is these guys are going to go actually go spend some time away and have a bit of a rest and a break between roles and then um, come back and start on the 21st of July, which is Christmas in July. So it's pretty good. We get a youth pastor for Christmas. And it's even St. Nick, so that's pretty good. <laughs> so, but um, yeah, we've been just giving thanks in the, in the services and, and, and people have been sharing giving thanks, which has been awesome. And just ask Lynn is going to pray and, and give thanks today. Um, so I'm just going to bring this up here. Thank you. Our... our our all-powerful and loving Heavenly Father. We are here today with thankful and loving hearts to worship you, to say thank you for your amazing creation. Thank you that we can meet and worship you and then have fellowship with each other. We are this life as a sacrifice that we might be forgiven of our sin. And thank you, Jesus, we can remember your sacrifice with com communion today. Thank you, God, for your gift of the Holy Spirit who lives within us, helps us and reminds us whenever we fail or how to get back at, to be the living God. Today we say a big special welcome and a thank you for the youth pastor, Nick and his wife, Susanna, and their two children who are visiting with us. We pray you will feel loved and welcome here. It's a real joy to be able to worship and share together and we both, we, we look forward to catching up with you later. We do also pray for those who have not been well this week I have had some mis and have had some miserable times. We do thank you God for your provision of a medical staff you have given to help these dear people and help with these <coughs> these relief and healing please continue to keep them in your prayers and I just want to read a couple of verses of Psalm 121 I look up to the mountains does my help come from there my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth he will not let you stumble the one who watches over you will not slumber indeed he watches over all Israel and never slumbers 